Hey guys, welcome back and thanks for tuning in to the, hopefully the final episode of the uh, Rinse's Way for building this light cruiser that we've been working on. In the previous episodes, uh, the first one we went over the primary armament uh, creation and how I make the turret caps. And the second one was the organization and the forming of the hull. So, now that we have those steps complete, here comes, in my opinion, and to a lot of people, the hardest part. Which is the superstructure. For those that are unaware, the superstructure is the, well, structure that basically sits up on top of the hull that goes right here in this area. Some other models or some other ships may have like one gun up here and then the superstructure starts and snakes back here. Some of them have a superstructure that sits way back, but a lot of them generally follow the same uh, same premise that they're normally about in the middle area. So we got to figure out how the hell we are going to make a superstructure for this ship. Now this is going to be a little bit difficult because it's going to be hard to base this off of anything since we laid out the guns uh, not based off of another ship. It's also going to be slightly more difficult because the superstructure probably about where whoops probably where we want the bridge to be probably about right in this area we don't have a lot of room to work with here we also need to work on making the turret necks for these which we want to be pretty heavily armored so without further ado let us get started <clears throat> So let's start off by making the turret neck for this lower one, and then we could just copy and paste the design of that to the rear turret cap. Now, normally I'll put whoops, I'll put space armor uh, around the turret neck, but in this case, since these guns are relatively small in comparison to some of my bigger guns, such as my battle cruiser cannons. Uh, we are not going to be able to add uh, spaced armor to this. Uh, actually, no, let's not do that. Let's do that. But it's always a good rule of thumb to at least have one layer of heavy armor uh, around the turret neck. We most certainly do not want these getting knocked out. So, we want to put on as much armor as we can around them. Be wary, if you haven't seen the length of the video yet, I don't know how long this video is going to be, but I have a feeling it's going to be a long ass video. Because superstructure making is the longest part of any of my ships, because it's a lot of trial and error 9 times out of 10. Uh, I cannot tell you the amount of times I have started building a superstructure, zoom out on it, look at it and go, that looks like utter dog shit and go away from it so let's add a little bit of detail add basically a little ring that goes right here at the base of where the turret is and we'll also add one here a uh, good decoration for that is a steam tank it's a three meter Nice little ring around there. Nothing too f terribly fancy. So, now what we could do is just copy paste it. Bam. There we go. There's a turret neck for that one. So, we will just prefab that bitch. Laser right there. Bam. <clears throat> so 
now we need to do this guy. So we're just going to copy and paste that there. And then we could just right there. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Uh, yeah, there we go right there. Let's add just a little hatch here on the side just for Yeah, there we go. So now that is taken care of as well. We can just plop that right there. Now we got turret necks. Bada bing, bada boom. I believe these already have necks. Yes, yes they do. Okay. Turret necks taken care of there. Now the turret next for these guns, I believe we are going to integrate into the superstructure. So normally, I will make the superstructures out of alloy. Uh, the main reason why I do this, as much as I would like to use metal up here, we already have a ton of metal here and a ton of metal here. We want to try and keep this center of mass lower if we can. That will make us a little bit more stable and keep us from rocking in the water as much. So if we use a bunch of metal up here, especially whenever we start doing masts going up, it's going to raise our center of mass and make us less stable. So since alloy 1 gives us buoyancy and 2 is significantly li it's lighter than wood, I'm pretty certain. So let's see here. Uh, weight of 20. And weight of 40. So it's literally half the weight. Now, of course, it's more expensive, but so be it. <clears throat> okay, so let's do this. So we're going to start off right there. Yeah, sure. We'll do it like that. Now, for this vehicle, uh, I'm not going to base it off of anything. It's going to make my life a little bit more difficult since I'm used to, well, armoring and uh, designing the ship based off of another vehicle, like an existing vehicle from history. Uh, but this one's going to be special. Yeah, see, now that's our problem. The guns are so close that we're gonna have a very very hard time so here let's do this we're gonna try something and that's really all this is about trial and error see what looks good and what doesn't so in this case we're gonna whip out the metal again something like this damn it why you gotta be difficult just have to deal with it like that, but maybe we can at least, maybe we can mimic over that with a giant alloy pole too, so we will give that a shot, see 
how it goes. Start off with that is our basis. So here will be let's do some stairs. How does that look whenever those secondaries are turning? Let's get us a chair. Uh, oh. Yeah, that ain't gonna work. Um, well, biggity buck. Okay. So, I guess we will try and do this then. Hmm. Hold up. I think I may have just got an idea. Oops. So, Could do that, and then maybe might clip through a little bit. It's okay. We're testing. Of course, we don't care about that hitting there because we're not going to be. We're going to set turret restrictions here after a bit once we get the superstructure set up so it doesn't do that. Yeah. Yeah, that could work. That could work. Okay. Okay. We will roll with that for now then. Uh, let's see here. Let's do... Yeah. Let's do that. That gives it room so it doesn't look like it's clipping through. Fuck. It is clipping through. I don't think there's much we're going to be able to do that. We'll do with that since this is such an odd size due to, uh, well, it being almost completely mimicked. Uh, well, actually, it is completely mimicked. Yeah, I think we're just going to have to deal with that. Or we could just experiment <coughs> with, uh, let's just make this like an independent little silo, I guess. We'll see how that works. And if it doesn't, alright, well, then we'll connect it later. So, for now then, we were, we are going to do something like... Yeah. Do something like that. Place it where I want you to. Nope, fuck. Jesus. Okay. So. 
good. I could use a little shaping. Not too shabby so far. In fact, the uh, bridge is going to have to be pretty high up. At least the window port's going to need to be up one more, which I think we can do. <coughs> which we might be able to get away with doing something like. Oops. We could. Yeah, yeah. There we go. We're getting somewhere now. So, if we want... We can make a certain part of the bridge elevated up here. So we can do... Not too bad, not too bad. Okay. Yeah, we can add like this here for a little extra depth. And nah. ERA may look good. Nah, not quite. Okay. That's fine. something else we can do we can create a little bit of a just a lip of an overhang of that then we can mimic over that too well, not too shabby so far not too shabby we actually may just mimic that in total now we do that because we want a little, a little bit of railings 
I also have a detection turret that I would like to use. I think this is it. That's it. Holy dog shit, my friending! Yes, that is. That is quite large. So we could place that. Eh, maybe we want to place it a little bit uh, farther back. Up there. Yeah, sure. Oh, except I need to put a. Weapons controller for that. So it will point at the enemy. So we don't want that getting super easily knocked out. It'll probably get knocked out, but maybe we can prevent it from getting knocked out quite as quick. Then we can mimic the base of that too. Let's see here. Maybe we can add a little bit of depth there. Yeah. Actually, no. Let's not do that. We're gonna add a ladder there. Yeah, that's actually not looking all too bad. Why the fuck can I not build, like, superstructures that easily and nice whenever I'm off camera? What the hell? Why am I getting all these ideas and going, Oh, yeah, let's just piece this together. This is real fucking easy. No, it's not! What the hell is wrong with me? That's a loaded question. Yeah, we'll add <clears throat> a little bit of an area here. Oh, in the battle, uh, I had mentioned uh, me making a battle cruiser uh, in the previous video, uh, not on camera, but one as a, you'd be expecting as a showcase. Uh, I actually had to completely restart that because I planned that ship out uh, very poorly. Because as I was getting, as I was starting on the superstructure, the hardest part, of course, um, I was looking at and going, man, this thing is really fucking big. And so I pulled out my current battleship, and I looked at it and I went, Good God, it's almost longer than it! Actually, it was longer than it, and it was almost wider, and I'm like, Fuck. That ain't gonna be a battlecruiser. It ain't even, uh, yeah, it just wasn't, uh, it wasn't planned out very well on my part. So, uh, yeah, I had to start from scratch on that, but at least the new one is looking like it's getting some better progress than the other one. So, you'll get that eventually. Hope you all are enjoying the showcase videos. Uh, they're kind of stupid, but I like doing them, especially my most recent one with the uh, truck. <laughs> if any of you got the reference to the movie that I was going for, then kudos to you. I haven't seen that movie in years, and I had randomly heard Eastbound and Down the other day, and then it just got stuck in my head. And then I got inspiration to make that make that truck and make that video. Yeah, that little bit of an overhang will help. With lay looks. And we can also do... Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Shit, fuck, no. Okay. Uh, maybe not that. We can add some detailing to the windows here in a bit. Actually, I'm gonna cheat a little bit. Yeah, I'm gonna cheat a little bit. Give me a second. This is called being smart, really, but, uh,. Let's see here. Destroyer, no. Well, that's a light cruiser. That's this one. 
Uh, I think it was this one. Let me frig it. What we are going to do. We are going to copy my windows. There it is here. Copy. Actually, no, it was my battleship that had the more angle ones. I do believe that I want to copy. Copy and paste over here so I don't have to make it. Uh, the other day, I also uh, pitted again. I uh, pitted uh, this my recent battleship. Uh, and why did I say the other day? It was yesterday. I was going through and I noticed uh, I have some of my old fleets still saved, and I was because I have my hunter killer fleet, my just regular naval vessels, and then the universal naval fleet. The Universal Naval Fleet was the one I was working on prior to the Hellraiser Battalion, which is where I started really getting in all the mimics and details. And so one of my proudest ones was the Kingston Class Cruiser, which maybe I'll do uh, pitting against some of my vehicle, my older vehicles against my new vehicles. Uh, maybe I'll make some videos on that. The Hunter Killer Fleet. I have my old, my old battleship on that one go up against this one and also uh, actually no not that one uh it was i think it was just in here maybe no shit where was it i don't no it wasn't there was it that one Yes, yes it was. I did uh, pit this one up against that, and this thing completely fucking smashed it. Now, for granted, it's also 200k more, but that's besides the point. Okay, so I want to copy your windows so I don't have to make them again. Oh, shit. I'm gonna have to adjust that. Case, get rid of you. Good God, why is there so many? What div did I accidentally put my like, copy bases twice in it? Hmm. That's interesting. I don't know why there's duplicates of all of it. I was wondering why there were so many goddamn mimics. Decorations, whatever. Basically the same fucking thing. This is going to make it a slightly more difficult to get it where I need it to go. Because all I did for this was to just uh, get a glass slope and angle it all the way out here like that. Yeah, like that. Although that's still a little bit too long. Fuck. Yes, yes it is, that's it, okay. Fantastic. Now, delete you, and uh, delete you, and expand you a little bit. Huh, yeah, there we go. Bam. Job of that. Oops, side. Hey, get back here, bitch. I can't tell you you can leave yet. Poor. Actually, I better be. Ah, fuck. Of course, it's moved all the way over.
do. And just look at that. Yeah. Now that. Now that. Right there. That right there. God damn. Quit fucking drifting away. Jesus. Stop it. Get some help. Do I have these designs saved? Those look good. Even if I don't, I can just copy and paste it over. It's not that big of a deal. But, still, so, regardless. I think I have that copy and pasted twice over here, too. That does not look right. That chip. Yeah, that doesn't. Yeah, that's because I do. You know what? That's fine. That is fine. You know what? Actually, here's what we're gonna do. You wanna be a rebellious little shit? Fine then. We'll play that game. You're gonna come over here and you're gonna stay over here, whether you want to or not. Get over here! That's what I thought, you little bitch. Oop. Let's see here. What blocks did I put on you? Okay. Yeah, let's see here. That's not gonna work there. Why is there two? What the hell? Was I on crack or something whenever I designed that thing? Why there's accidentally double of mimics on a, on each of these? Like, I'm seriously confused. Why? Now, where the hell do I put the mimic for that one? Uh, oh, there you are. I normally do this kind of dealing, detailing later, but uh, I don't really feel like doing it later. I feel like doing it now. Makes my life a little bit easier and more comforting to go, yeah, that's looking good, instead of making a bunch of progress and going, wow, that looks like absolute daughter dog shit. Time to restart.
like how that's coming along. That's good. That is good. Very good. Okay, well, your services are no longer needed. Not for the time being, at least. And then our periodic... Whoa, not there. Periodic save. So, let's work on... Let's see here. How many smokestacks should we have on this? I think we should have one big central one. Detection, maybe. Let's get a good front view of this thing. Not too shabby. No, not. No, not. So, yeah, I think one central smokestack right there will be good, and then the second part of the super searcher kind of going back there. So. Actually, you better place it on this railing and let's see if the turret, that turret can still turn. Yes, it can. Awesome. Okay. So, oh, that's an angle. So then, what we can do next, we can add a little staircase right there. But ladder right there. You have a staircase coming down back here. There are ways to get up. Yeah, yeah, that'll work, that'll work. I completely had a brain fart of- oh, nope, there we go. I had completely forgotten what the hell I was looking for. So most we can do, we can also just make them extend backwards like that. More depth.
right through the center there too. We can do something like that. Actually, we can do this in total. Get a little platform right there. That. Here, like that. And there in the center. A mast. So we'll make that come up like right there, and then we will switch to not steam pipes. Fuel engine pipes. Yeah, yeah, that'll do, that'll do, that'll do, donkey, that'll do. Alright. Yeah, I'm liking, I'm liking that, I'm liking that a lot. Not too shabby, not too shabby at all. We can also add another thing of detection right behind it, although that might be counterintuitive. We could just remove that. Which, uh, if you can't tell, that is uh, almost entirely mimics. Uh, go figure. Yeah, we could add, let's see here, I think it's Cruiser Detection Spiral. Yes. Yeah, that guy. Could add one of those behind it. Like, maybe up one more. And we can just get rid of the. Oops. Yeah, then we can just get rid of that radar thing and put on the mast those radars that I had placed on the uh, battleship. I'm sure I probably have that. Uh, save. Okay, yeah. Yeah, that is entirely mimicked. Good fucking god. Jesus Christ, Rich. Whoops. Nope, wrong way. It's backwards. There we go. Um. Yeah, it fills out that turret a little bit more. Make the mast, uh. Fills out the turret. Ugh, what the fuck am I talking about? Fills out the, uh. Oh, hey, look at that. They're touching tips. Uh, get rid of one of those. Actually. We'll get rid of, uh, get rid of that one, maybe, please, thank you, yeah, because we'll want that to detect backwards, so then we can just, Woo! goody goody, yeah, I'm really liking how that looks, it's almost starting to look modern, which we may need to move this into the modern fleet. Which is not a problem. Not a problem at all. And who knows if our cost is low. Well, now we're about right at the cost limit, so never mind. I was about to say we could add some missiles to this, like a few large missiles, to, but that would bump our cost up like 50k uh, at the very least. So, that is not an option. That is not an option. Okay, so I think now. Just turn into Pee Wee Herman there for a second. I'm now starting to understand why my my coworker calls me Pee Wee, which is true, by the way. Our transmission tech at the Ford dealer I work at, because for those that don't know, uh, I work at a Ford dealership as a technician. Uh, our transmission tech, who I work next to, uh, funny guy, bad influence on me because he makes me want to get more guns, and man, I get more guns too. I bought a few off of him. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, he calls me Pee-wee, and I've never been exactly sure why. And he'll just walk by my area and go, Pee-wee! How we go? How we doing, man? Funny guy. Funny guy. Um, let's see here. So the smokestack will go about right there. I think we ought to make this like a thick smokestack. Um, we also probably ought to do the same thing we did over here with that. We also might be able to just make a 
since this is already going to be intersecting. Yeah. Just a little something to connect it. So I believe we did something like... I guess we can go ahead and do railings. It's gonna fall off anyway. Whatever. Yes. 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 Very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. We still need that propulsion and uh, roll stability control and turning propellers. Because we'll definitely need some dirty propellers if we want this thing to turn quickly. I need to keep note that I need to make my battle cruiser slightly longer than this. Yeah, we can shape that out a little bit more here in a bit. So, let's see here. Do we want this to be a straight up and down smokestack? Or do we want this to be slightly angled? I think what we should do... Yeah, we can pull a little jiggy breaky my friending. Okay, yeah, we're going to make it about... Uh, yeah, that's all. So the top section there, we're gonna make block. Oh, whoops, too dull. Nope, too dull. There we go. So we are going to do something along the lines of this. I don't know why I do the inner slopes. It just nah, it doesn't really matter. I just need them to be connected. I have it. Da, 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 da. Ooh, yeah, that's a thick boy. Okay, so let's do this instead then. So, instead, we're going to make this a little bit less thick. That and 
That's a little better. That'll, that'll fit this a little bit better. So... doing that in the right color. That, do that, that, so let's do a smoke generator, there, so then what I normally like to do for the top of the smokestacks, I will use a medium turbine middle, painter black, pitcher, Something like that. Roll it backward. Pitch it a little bit more. There we go. <clears throat> something along the lines of this. So, here's the cheeky breaky part, my friends. Instead of keeping it straight up and down, what we're going to do now, we're going to take it, copy it, And then we're going to put it on a fucking spin block. Except I put it the wrong way. There we go. Yeah. Put it on tethered. Yes, sir. Then we do that. Then we can just put a spin block, rotate the angle. Just have it at like a six degrees. Bam. Oh, that's gonna bother me. I can fix that though. Mimicry. But either way, yeah. There you go. There's a mimic. Sm well, there's a smokestack that's actually angled. And we will stick by that. So, to fill out this area a little bit around us, we are going to put in some AA emplacements. Yeah, AA emplacements 
so we'll do that. Dead. Now, uh, also something else, uh, this is not the normal music I use for the background of this, uh, of these videos. I decided and instead of going through and having to put in that audio and then uh, if I really cared about it, I'd have to fight uh, copyright claims showing I gave credit to them. Uh, I'm just using the in-game in -game music. So, this is all the music that's in the game for those who have not played before. So, I just normally turn it off and... Normally I'll play my own iTunes music while I build. But, uh, I'm not gonna do that while I'm recording a video. Because I cannot record... I cannot listen to that separately. And that is the wrong color. Son of a whore. Notice we also have not done the railings along the sides of the actual ship. Hmm. Let's do that. I'd also normally kind of crop out the, these videos and all the dead sections where I'm not talking, but when it comes to superstructures, and the last time I did that, people wanted to see, like, uh, for example, the turret cap making whenever I was making a primary armament for this, so... Uh, this one, I will, instead of dividing it into multiple videos and then saying in the video I'll put a timestamp, this one I'll actually put a timestamp in the description below. Uh, if you want to skip to the final product. Now, I don't know if I will finish it all in this episode. We may do another episode where we do the final detailing, or we may finish it in this episode. And then after that, we will go into combat testing. Because I'm honestly kind of curious to see how this thing will perform. But we still got a lot of work to do to it. Oh, excuse me. But, at the very least, the damn superstructure is looking good. Why? I just don't understand. Why the hell was I able to do this so relatively easily without... And, and this is just me making it up off of the top of my head. I'm not even basing it off of something. Normally, whenever I base... I normally base it off of something. I'm not. <laughs> I don't have anything to base it off of. Why the hell am I able to do this so easily? But I can't... It's, it's just... Horseshit. Horseshit, what is this, my friend? Horseshit. Horseshit? Horseshit, yes. Um, so let's do that. Actually, let's do that. Yeah. Oh, um, no? Well, hang on. Let's see how these steam pipes look. Steam. Straight pipes. Oh, that could do. That could do. 
Okay, now we need to see if I have... <laughs> abomination. That thing is quite an abomination. Um... Jesus, what the fuck? Oh, it's because I still have the smoke sack. I thought that was my radar. I just clicked on it. I was like, what the fuck? Oh, shit. No, this does not appear to be the right one. Secondary turret cap. Ah, oh, that was something I used. Uh, small radar dish. What's the small radar dish? Oh! Jesus, that's a lot of mimics! God damn! Alright, no. Uh, that looks. Uh, no, we're not getting updated wire radar. Hey, there it is. That's what I was looking for. Thank you. I knew I had it. Just had to remember what the hell I called it. such in a bit now for those who may be interested in, there is a rigging mod i don't personally use it because i just don't like using mods but there is a rigging mod if you don't want to go through the absolutely painful process of doing rigging manually then that will probably be a tool for you but for me i'm a slut for the pain Just saying that reminds me of a uh, something funny. I was talking to some guys in, uh, in the uh, From the Depths Discord channel, and we were talking about well mimicry and all the decorations I do. And I had said in the chat, "I'm a slump for the pain." Uh, and he took a screenshot of uh, his reactions of me saying that, and I'll post it on the screen here for you. Fucking have me rolling. I don't know why I found it so fucking funny. But that shit had me died. Not too bad. Not too bad. So we need the second little superstructure now. Actually, I may do... Hang on, I'm gonna spawn in something. I need to take a look to get some ideas. My Cram Cruiser. This one I based off of a World War I ship, and it surprisingly turned out really well. For being such a relatively simple superstructure and being open. But... But yeah, it turned out pretty well. I wonder if I should do something like that for the mast. I think that would look better. Yeah, we could always just copy that, but that's kind of cheesy. Uh, huh. Tough decision. <laughs> hmm. Very tough decision, actually. So I could very easily just put it over here, but... Nah. Listening. I already copied over those uh, windows there. Here. Which, these are just, well, uh, as I said, the uh, glass slope. And then I used the window blocks, and it just angled them and did whatever I needed to do to them to get them to be... I want them to be. Okay, so let's do this though. 
So let's go like right here. Yeah, sure. That will you like that. Okay, good. That's going down to the ship. I don't have to worry about that. Fantastic. Yeah, there we go. That'll do. That'll do. Sports worthy mass, yeah, that's that's looking pretty, pretty all right, pretty all right. So let's do this rear part of the superstructure, which won't be too terribly in depth. Just something simple back here. Something near as fancy as the main superstructure. But we can use the superstructure as another place for some more detection. Redundancy is good. Because if one gets knocked out, you still have some more detection because if you get your knock if you get your AI knocked out, or not well, no shit if you get your AI knocked out, you're done. Uh, if you get your detection all knocked out, you're kinda screwed. You can't really hit them unless you use maybe remote remote minance? Yes. Remote guidance missiles. Then you can just aim them manually, but still, even then it's just ideal to have more than one of each uh, kind of detection. Yeah, so we'll do another one of those big old detection turrets here. Nice. You there. Bring it on. I want detection turret. We'll do this one with radar. Ooh, fancy. Yeah, there we go, that fits. That fits pretty well. Then we could do a second mast back here. Instead, what we're going to do here, actually, is we are going to... I have a feeling this video is probably going to be over an hour long. Just because this process just takes so bloody long to do. Just to get a superstructure to look correct and not look derpy as hell. Yeah, there we 
go. That is looking good. That's actually looking really good. Very nice. Now we need to add some of our little details here and there. Mainly just things to make it traversable. Don't really need that to be walkable there. Place I think. Um, then we can also add a oh, service the radar. Also need to add some beams. So we will copy. We will uh, go like right here. Fold it some. Go left a little bit. Pitch down. Yeah. Need to have more AA guns too. Even though the simple AAs don't do terribly much amount, they're more just there for kind of looks and just extra support. Not really the most useful things in the world, but they are extra firepower nonetheless. Excuse me. Just kind of yeah, yeah, yeah. That'll do. That'll do. Then we can add another AA emplacement right here. Yeah. Holy 
Holy shit. Now that's... That's really looking good. Yeah. I better save this. Oh shit, I never mirrored that. Oops. There we go. Okay. Very good, very good. That's our next step. Let's doing some lifeboats. So I've already got some lifeboats made. Uh, we are going to do a modern life raft. Oops, forgot to select. Now, for granted, it's also that color right now because I got to go through and set the. Uh, got to go through and set the color. But this will just. It's something that will help us detail the ship, add some contrast. Yeah, okay, so, I gotta figure out what color this, uh, what is it set on? It is set on 21. So for color 21, right there, we want red. So, uh, other little details uh, that I like to add on to the deck, which uh, help, is, uh, let's see here, where is it, it's a prefab, uh, it's little rope tie downs, you can find them on uh, basically all ships, and they sit on the edges of the deck, uh, and they look like that, for ropes to tie around, so I just made a prefab of that, and I'll just kind of place it in various locations across the ship. Just a little bit of extra something. Then comes the anchor. That is a uh, very tedious, tedious, tedious part of all this is getting that anchor down. Uh, then the rigging, of course. Then setting turret restrictions and giving us propulsion. Which I guess I will go ahead and give us some propulsion now. I don't normally worry too much about the looks of the propulsion. Like, very little. I don't care. <laughs> Quite frankly. So, oops, that is alloy. I want that to be metal. Okay. So, and then I normally just leave it exposed. It's not the, not the most ideal thing to do, especially for whenever I use the steam cranks and now we'll use like a gold color so we will do like way the fuck back here we'll do a 3 meter 3 meter way the hell up here Something we can also do to increase our looks here is use a two meter uh, 
pole right there, like the two meter sealed shaft, and it allows us to do that. So we can add like little supports into the design of this. So we can just kind of Not make the full all around it. So we'll come back to here. So we will review. I should run it then there. There we go. Except it's alloy. You know what? We'll leave it alloy. Just for contrast. It's not that important either. I guess it kind of is, but not enough for me to really care to make it metal. shit up and then I'll also we also need to add some stability yeah we'll take a moment to do all the stability stuff to this ship you know propulsion turning which turning we can use a big rudder but in my experience the big rudders have never really done all that much uh, so it'll primarily be more for looks so we'll integrate some uh, turning propellers into the into the hole and then we'll also add some roll. Because roll is very important. God, it's so trippy trying to build upside down. I hate it. Ah, fuck! Damn it! Damn it. Damn it. Thank you. Uh, so we want water, large rudder. Spin block, spin control, actually spin the angle. Yeah, we'll do like 25 degrees, positive, and that just makes it to where whenever I hit left, or H for turning left, it'll turn left, right, it'll turn right, yada, yada, yada. So now let's do some turning propellers so we can actually turn. Uh, what have we got in here? Oh my god, that's a lot of fucking spin. Oh, ammo. Lovely. Now we can fit it in. It'll be fine, it'll be fine. So we have three by three space. Let's go ahead and place that down the pole. Go. Now to just cover her back up. Uh, and normally, what I'll do so I can see where they are, we'll leave that one hole because that has to be open in order for it to work. We will go to air, use an air duct because that'll still work for it to go through. Uh, I should have enough room here for. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Go. Now we can add some in the rear 
here. Oh, look at that. Perfect. So then we'll just kind of spread them out a little bit. So unbeknownst to me, my computer has given me the one finger salute and quit recording uh, about uh, whenever I started making all the adjustments and making the ship more stable to be able to float and also stay up at a certain uh, level. So we have pitch, roll, uh, actually, no, we don't have roll control. I take that back. We don't have roll control, but I don't think we actually really need it. It's fairly stable. We got it to where it'll float pretty well. Uh, so we can go ahead and plop her down into the water here. Put her at, uh, up at 100% throttle. Let her stabilize out a little bit. Not too shabby. Oh, it's actually not a full throw, I don't think. No, it is not. Oh my goodness. Anyway. We got a, a bunch of the ship done, and it's almost ready to go. But what we're going to do instead is we are going to pick up where we left off next episode. Next episode, we will be focusing on the final details and getting this thing stabilized the way we want it to and combat testing. So, on that note, we'll end it here. If you want to see the decoration of the bridge, uh, please leave a comment down below and I will implement it into the next episode whenever we do our final detailing and the beginning of our combat testing. Thanks again for watching and stay tuned in next time for the next video.